Hello, welcome back to my channel again. <clears throat> this is a North Vegas, another one. Uh, it's got a lighter green leaf. It's another one I got to the nursery a few years back. Um, I just chopped it here and put it in this pot. It's been there ever since. And I've just worked on growing branches. So I think I'm going to take it out of this pot now, repot it, and put it into a bonded pot and start working on getting a bit of structure to the branches now. Okay, so we'll get started with that. Yeah, got to put on some gloves. It's a bit mucky this job. We've finally got a bit of sunshine this morning. Don't know how long it'll last, but yeah, this is holding quite a lot of water now. A lot of weeds. hasn't added any real major root pruning or anything. I just put it in this pot a couple of years ago and basically sat at the back of the back of my garden. Just now and again I just trim back the little branches and stuff just to give it a bit of structure. I did wire the branches first day just to give them the basic shape and then ever since then then I've just been giving him a light pruning. I remember now this has a horrible kink in the bottom here. So we'll have to have a look, see if there's anything we can do about that, or we're just going to have to live with it. The root just completely doubles back onto itself and rejoins the tree again here. As I can remember. Lots of weeds in it. You can see a lot of the original soil is still on here. I never, don't think I ever bare rooted it. I think it was just not the right time of year. I just put it into this bigger pot. around the path. Now I continue to do that. I probably should have done this job a bit sooner. Should have been done a couple of years ago maybe. It'll start growing a bit better now once it's in better soil. Although it's going okay so far. Just definitely think it'll do a lot better in proper bonsai soil. Stuff is staying quite wet. Yeah, it's got a 
very unusual, lumpy, well, maybe not unusual for a nursery stock tree, but lumpy, horrible root base, but I might have to live with that. some of this mess now. Empty some of this out.
Okay, I'm not too sure we mic switched off again now. Seems we having trouble with this mic for some reason. Hopefully, I didn't miss too much. Um, I've looked at parts and I've had I found bigger ones and I found small ones, but this one I think being shallow will help get the roots spread better. So I think we'll go with this one, keep it shallow, keep the roots, plenty of room for the roots to grow, but it'll stop them growing straight down. So we've got some drainage screen in there. I think this mic, maybe when you go outside and it goes too far away, it switches off. That may be the problem with it. I keep thinking it's dying. So I'll have to watch when I go out to wash the trees and stuff, or up to look for pots to keep my, keep my eye on the mic. Okay, so put some soil in the bottom. Now it up a bit where I want to put the tree. roots spread out like that okay so we'll look now at the front of the tree that's probably the front we're back to slightly away a bit let's just see about the rock now So I've been having trouble with my mic the last couple of videos. I think I figured out what the problem was when I go outside to wash the trees. If I go to the, it's just outside the door, my wash station, it's okay. But if I go up looking for pots or something or rocks up to, up to where I keep my bonsai, the mic gets too far away from the receiver. So it switches it off. So at least I know it's that and it's not a problem with the mic itself. So hopefully we can stop getting these videos with no sound. Up. 
Okay. Now, the thing with this soil is it tends to dry out because the pot is so shallow. If the top dries out, then you've only got the bottom with the wind and that it dries out quite quickly. Uh, so you'll only have to bottom a little bit that has moisture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put moss on this and that way then it'll keep the moisture right to the top. Hopefully that's the plan anyway. And if you keep the moisture right to the top of the things it'll give it more chance of survival. So I'll just um, probably should have wet the soil first but we'll soak it in a second once we get it all done. Thin, thin moss, it's just been scraped off concrete, very little weed renting in it, so ideal for this job. Just hold the moisture in the soil so you've got the whole pot holding moisture, not just the bottom. soaking and give it a good pressing down then. I'll wait there and take that one out. So just Sometimes you have to make do with what you got. If you've got a bad root base like this, you just have to hide it with a rock and sometimes it just makes it look even more natural. way to disguise a bad root. trees have moss on them so they um, tend to leave some alone so hopefully this is one of them okay so that's the tree planted up now the only thing left to do is just to check out the branches see is there any got a bit of sunshine coming in the window a bit there it's nice so I'm just going to look at the branches now, bring you up a bit higher. Okay, so I'm not going to touch this branch, I want this branch sticking out, try and become the heaviest branch, being the lowest one. These guys have a few growing inwards there. And like that, the handy thing about this is you can just prune it to an out facing leaf. Need the glasses for this job. I 
there's a bud at the base of each leaf so you know exactly where the next branch is going to come from. Um, Actually, take the whole end of this off. That way, then we'll let that one take over as the new leader of that branch. True stem rack. This one up here. Juice it back. Again, I was trying to go for. Out facing buds. Got a bit of a funny thing going on here. So I'll reduce that right back. Take that off all together. The dead bits there. I'm just giving it a kind of quick rough pruning just to kind of slow the growth on these higher branches. Something's been nibbling at the leaves up here. To let that bottom branch grow stronger. And um, this branch up here. I think we'll reduce that one right back. I don't know what's going on with that. Let this branch fill out that area. So it's good to have found out about my mic anyway because I thought I was going to have to go and get a new one, I thought it was something faulty with it. It's kind of a new one as is, now at least I know what the problem was, we can avoid it happening again hopefully. A dead branch in here. I'm coming back there. We'll take that out. Back to an outpacing branch. I think you could get some really good ramification on these trees if you kept up the... I've got this one's kind of looping up so I'll take that out get the branches growing that way what's going on up here now we've got this apex here take it off then the apex will be going backwards here so I don't want to take it off maybe what I'll do is I'll just take it back here so get this one to grow up as the new apex maybe we will I'll just see what's going on back here I take a lot of this off back here. It's competing with the main apex, and I want this to become the new apex. Fill out up here. Trim this one back now. Okay. do for now so that's it as you can see it's quite bare here so we might have to hope that something goes here or eventually maybe do a, a graft on it or maybe I can bring this one down more or something we'll see um, but at the moment that's what we have 
what we'll have to work with. Yeah, it's definitely, it's only when you look at it at the camera that you realise how bare and straight that is. But we'll have to see how we go. Maybe one day we can change the front, I don't know. But for now we'll just deal with getting the roots growing again, getting the tree growing. And maybe we'll like that do a thread graft something maybe back here to bring a branch here so what i'll do is i'll just let like a branch like this grow and then drill a hole through the through the trunk here thread the branch through and then let it grow this side seal it up i've done that on a few of my trees um or maybe graft on a branch we'll, we'll see I do think this one could come back just a small bit. So that's going pretty big. We don't want these end branches getting too big. So that'll do. Okay, so that'll do for this video. And I'll just give you a little zoom in on it. Okay, so we might have to do something with that side, but we'll see. You can see how bad that root base was, but it's tucked in nicely into that rock, so at least it looks a little bit more natural. Okay, so again, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you on the next one.